This is about the transducer block. We're gonna go in and do some editing here. So we're gonna press and hold transducer and we're gonna be greeted by the transducer page. So we've got a couple of controls at the top level here. We've got our style, so we can pick the type of uh, you know of transducer that we have. So things like uh, you know this is like a distortion pedal. We've got things like radio and megaphone and stuff. And um, we'll just turn it on here, and you can have a listen. So this is me on the phone. I can go over to the style here and radio. We got some megaphone. And of course you can adjust things like the drive and the filter on these things. So I can make the the megaphone quite a bit more distorted. Me on the megaphone, and you can hear it breaking up a little bit more as we do things here. And you can also adjust the filter, which sweeps through the filter range. So I have the to high end here. I'm actually not filtering very much at all. It sort of uh, breaks up a bit funny, and then you can go all the way down into quite sort of a muted. We find that that around 50% though is uh, is a very effective sound that makes it sound like that megaphone. Uh, the only difference in, in transducer in terms of the styles uh, that you might want to know about or the sort of the one outlier is to go all the way to the very end and you find beatbox. Essentially what that is, is just a style that turns off tone. Um, it allows the low end of the, uh, the, the voice to come through. So if you're beatboxing, you don't necessarily want tone rolling off the, uh, the low end you know, frequencies because you're probably making like a kick drum type noise and you want to really have that come through. So if you're going to do some beatboxing, this is a really great style to use. You can turn the transducer style on, set to beatbox for that particular passage, and then when you turn it off, it, the, the uh, regular tone kicks back in. So it's kind of a way of accessing or overriding what's set in the setup menu uh, just briefly as you do your beatbox. That's a really handy feature to know. Now let's go into the advanced editing screen here. So I'm going to click on edit here and it's going to toggle so you can see back and forth here. So we got our routing. That's the first thing that we're greeted with. Uh, we've got output, effects lead, effects harmony, and lead and harmony that are our choices here. So what does that mean? Well, if we do output, the transducer goes on the entire output. Whatever's being made in terms of sounds in the box, that's what's going on. Uh, if we have effects lead, then any effects that are on the lead voice are being transducered. Uh, so if you've got a, a delay or something like that, it's gonna tap uh, with, with a, the, the transducer sound from that lead voice. If you do it for harmonies, it means that say the harmonies had uh, um, some delays on them or some effects on them. Those uh, uh, delays would be affected by the transducer. So you could actually have a clean lead voice and then have the, the harmonies themselves have that transducer sound on them, which is kind of cool. Um, if you wanted to do just your lead voice, you can have just the lead and not the effect, so it wouldn't bleed into reverb and things like that. If you wanted to do harmonies, just the harmony voices, it would have the transducer on that, but any effects that were uh, happening on the, on the harmony voices would not be affected by the transducer sound. Uh, and then you're at the end of that particular, uh, um, particular setting. We'll go down next here to the low cut. So this is a sweepable low cut that you can set. Uh, so you can roll it off, you know, if I put it really high here. You can hear that, oh, I got it. Do I have it turned on? Mm, yes, I do, but I've got it on beatbox because I was just showing you guys beatbox. Let's go back to something we can hear. There we go. Okay, so I got the low cut and I can, I can roll it up and down as this, uh, as this megaphone happens. Um, we got the control on. Why am I not hearing it? Hey, hey, where is my transducer? I've done something. What have I done? Ah, perfect. I've got it routed to the harmonies. That's why you guys couldn't hear it. So there we go. Even, you know, I make these mistakes as we do it. I'm going to go back to the output. There it is. Okay. Now I can roll up my low cut. And you can hear that I've got a sweepable filter with the low cut. So if I want more or less of the low end of my voice, that's how that would work. I also have uh, a gate. So I'm going to put this up to zero. Now there's, there's a... Uh a really high gate. See, I, can, I can't even make it, ah, ah. I can't make it come through. If I lower the gate, ah, there we go, you can hear it. Ah, ah, the gate's on and you can't hear it. And then I've crossed the gate threshold. So that's what that means is that the, the threshold is the lower level that the effect clicks on essentially. And what we do for this, we put a separate gate into the transducer because the transducer is prone to feedback when you're, uh, you're doing things live because it's got lots of uh, EQ peaks and that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is set the threshold to a point where as soon as you've stopped singing, that the, the gate kicks in and cuts off so that you don't create that, that feedback. We also have a gain here, which means you could set the transducer slightly lower in level than the rest of your outputs, and that also helps with feedback. So you can you can adjust it from zero, which would just be the same as your, your regular output, and then down from there. Um, we also have a high cut that works uh, in in uh, you know in tandem with the low cut. So your low cut is doing a, um, a high pass filter, and your high cut is doing a low pass filter. Uh, so you can actually roll off the high end, you know, the, where the the cutoff point is for the high end there. And that takes us to the end of the advanced settings for transducer.